today viewers you welcome to my channel if today is your first time of visiting my channel i want you to do well by hitting the subscription button and also turning the subscription bell on so that anytime we post in this channel you can be able to get notification to enable you watch our videos anytime we post okay at this moment i would like us to go straight to the point on how to set up this apparatus to get the required results needed for us to write this exam okay and here i read that from the 2024 yx specimen questions and here they said for specimen ef and g you are requested to get some quantity of dry sand dry clay and dry loam soil respectively get three capillary tubes labeled each of them e f and g close the lower end with a plug of cotton wool put the i dry sand into the capillary tube labeled e i i dry clay into a, the capillary tube labeled f i i i dry loam into the capillary tube labeled G. Shake or tap the end of the capillary tube to make it that particles are to make sure that the particles that the particles are tightly packed or settled in each of the capillary tube. Get a water trough and put water into it until it is half full. Set the capillary tube securely in a in the trough leave the setup for 24 hours before the examination this is my clay soil this is my clay soil still wet so i'll have to dry it so that it can dry properly this is my loamy soil as you can see the loamy soil is still wet so i'll have to still um dry it So this is my sandy. Sandy is already dry. Yeah, um, now I've been able to dry it properly. Actually, I use um, um, a heater to dry it. And um, this is it. So I'll have to pour it into a container so that I can be taking it directly from the beaker. So this is my my loamy soil. I have equally dried it. It is now set. The three samples of soil are that is they are now ready for our practical. So I want you to just pay attention on this procedure. So at this moment now, I will want us to use um if you don't have um capillary tube. You can make use of your burette. So for now, I am using burette for this practical. So this point, I am pouring in my clay soil. I'm pouring in my clay soil, my burette. Remember, you must make sure that you label these burettes. Already, I have labeled it so that you don't make mistake. Don't make mistake. So. So now I will have to plug in my cotton wool at the end. You put in cotton wool according to the instruction. You put in cotton wool. So you, you tap it very well so that the sands will be tightly packed together so that there will not be any space. So this. So this is um, my G, as you can see it is labeled already, and um, my G is Lumi Soy.
please don't forget to share this video to anyone that will be writing agri exam this period it will be very very helpful to be very helpful please remember do not skip this video because when you skip this video you may end up losing one step or the other and by the time you try to do your own you may not be able to get it so my three samples are ready they are ready the sandy the clear and the lumisol and they are well labeled so that is it you can see the labeling they are all labeled this is e f and g so i supported it with the retort stand so that it can stand firm now you can see uh, my basin i am using it as a water trough i'm using it as a water trough so at this point i will have to after pouring the water you will have to leave it for 24 hours to stand for 24 hours to stand as you can see the clay soil is already absorbing the water faster followed by the loamy soil and lastly by the sandy soil so this is um, after 24 hours after 24 hours that we came to check on it at this point we discovered that the clay soil was able to absorb the water faster than the um other soil samples followed by the loamy soil and lastly by the sandy soil yes lastly by the sandy soil in conclusion clay soil has the highest capillarity followed by loam soil and lastly by the sandy soil so the title of this experiment is capillary action if you have any question please drop it at the comment section and i promise you that i will reply you as soon as i get it